there. Have, we're all going to need this place someday. I hope it's a long, long time from now. But when the time comes, you don't need to go any further than right here to get the best in the world. Thank you. Well said. Enjoy. But the bottom line is a week from now, we're going to start seeing our very first patient, and that's what this has always been about. And, uh, and thanks for, to the generosity of this community. We are founded by Ellen Browning Scripps with a gift. We've, we've had wonderful, generous donors like Conrad Prebus. And, I mean, there's no greater gift a person could give than, than what Conrad, Ellen Browning, and the 2,600 donors that gave money to build this facility did. I, I mean, I'm in awe and thank, and I'm just very, very grateful for all of yeah, that. Yeah, the doctors gave over a million dollars. The employees gave over a million dollars. You must be bursting with pride tonight. I am. I'm proud of Scripps. We're very fortunate. It takes hard work and uh, the right decision and some luck. And we were fortunate to do well. And uh, as the old saying, it's time to give back. And we feel like giving back to Scripps is absolutely the, one of the most wor worthwhile organizations for the future in San Diego. I am so proud that this is the leading cardiovascular institute in the entire country. And so it's a, it's a great night to celebrate tonight. Joe and Mary Bronworth are with us, and this is your deal. I mean, this has been your deal for how long? I've been working on this for four years. We, uh, we started with an announcement from a, with a gift from Conrad Prebis, um, a $45 million in June of 2011, and we've been working ever since. And how many donors did you end up with in the end? Because it wasn't just one. <laughs> um, it was 2,600 donors, and together they donated $127 million. Isn't that awesome? What are you thinking as you look around? It is beyond great. You know, I, I'd like to say that this is a dream come true, but I didn't dream this big. <laughs> a fantastic evening to see this finally come to fruition. Great deal of work by the whole administration here to make this thing happen. This is a tremendous asset for the community that is going to be well utilized and, and very beneficial for everybody in San Diego. What if a heart monitor could be the size of a AAA battery? What if a heart stent could dissolve in the body after the heart is healed? What if valve replacements could be done in a minimally invasive way? Amazing things in heart care are happening today. And they're happening here at the Prebis Cardiovascular Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage President and Chief Executive Officer, Chris Van Gorder. Thank you all for being here. Isn't that a wonderful video and isn't this a wonderful building? What do you think? Well, welcome to the State of the Heart celebration. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is a remarkably important event for all of us at Scripps. You know, this project started for me more than 10 years ago. It was frequently challenging, but it was certainly worth pursuing. And thanks to many of you in this room tonight, we all made it happen. So why don't you give yourselves a round of applause for helping us build this facility. Conrad, you made the largest gift to make this happen for our community, and this facility now proudly bears your name. We thank you and all those who contributed to this facility. The patients you will save, thank you for your gifts. Thank you, Conrad. Thank you all. We come together to celebrate the generosity and the vision of Conrad Previs and the other legacy donors Jack and Eileen Anderson, Robert Howard, and John Barbie. And those gifts from the heart are going to have a positive impact on the health of San Diego. And I believe the entire region, even the nation, for many years to come. Philanthropy helped to usher in the future. And when you think about it, that's what philanthropy does. Philanthropy makes the future happen. Philanthropy narrows the gap between someday and today bridging the distance between hope and healing, and transforming we wish we could do more into we will do more. Of course, the future will happen. In fact, I guess you could say the future is already here. And so besides my thanks, I want to offer my congratulations to all of you that are here tonight. You have put your name on the future. Enjoy the evening.
But you know what? This is all about giving tonight. Um, it's about Conrad. It's about every sing single person in this room. There's about 2,600 people who donated to this, or to this building, over $127 million, and we added to that tonight, helping us build this facility so we can take care of our patients. Conrad. So why don't we hear from Conrad right now? For this wonderful facility to carry the name Prebis Cardiovascular Institute, it, it really grabs me. It's so improbable, and I'm so thrilled and honored to be uh, have the building named after me. What more can you do in this world? This is a legacy I'd like to leave with this wonderful hospital because I expect big things out of it. I've experienced the big things in the past. I expect more good work in the future by the hospital. You know, life's been good. I've uh, never been happier. And uh, I recall this nun when I was at Mercy Hospital. I went to there anonymously. And I remember asking the nun, I said, why am I still vertical, sister? He says, your work isn't done. <laughs> and I react, that's what I said, I like that. But my work isn't done, so I'll hang around till I finish my work. Conrad, your work is indeed not done. Ellen Brown and Scripps said many years ago, back in 1924, the most important and beautiful gift one human being can give to another is in some way to make life a little better to live. Conrad Prebus and Debbie have indeed done that very same thing. So ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to raise your glasses in a toast to our great friend, a person who has done so much for our community, so much for scripts. Ladies and gentlemen, to Conrad Prebus. Sugar and spice. I feel nice. A sugar and spice. 